Hi, this is just a short video to demonstrate the uh, technique we talked about in our blog post about how you can optimize JSON array processing using the JSON get element function in FileMaker Pro. So in this sample file I've got um, some sample JSON here, it's got uh, 486 records uh, and each of these records has uh, a series of fields uh, as well as some nested arrays. So there's a nested array for tags and a nested array for friends. So I've got two scripts that are going to pass out the JSON. We're going to get some of those fields uh, and we're going to get all the tags and all the friends. So I'm going to kick off my first script and this isn't the optimized version. This is just using the JSON get element function and um, it's continually um, retrieving the uh, each of the 486 records and each of the associated um, uh, nested friends uh, array and the nested tags array. So it's having to do a lot of work um, and with a small amount of records you, you won't notice too much of an issue. Uh, in this case it's taken uh, 27 seconds and let's go and have a look at what we've ended up with. We've ended up with 486 contact records and each of those records has uh, I think seven tags and three friends. So if we flick through it we can see we've got a series of data fields and we've got uh, the nested array of tags and friends as well. So let's go and wipe out all our data. So we've got no data left and we'll run the game. And this time we're going to use our optimized version. And this version, and I'll show you the scripts in a minute, uh, this uh, grabs each of the uh, sample JSON data records into its own separate FileMaker variable and uses that to then pass out each of the individual elements. And you can see it only takes 13 seconds. So it's, it's at least twice as fast as the uh, original method. So We'll just have a quick look at the uh, differences here. Uh, here's my version 1 script um, and here you can see I'm um, pulling out each of the uh, individual fields for each record so uh, just using a counter to grab the the separate fields and then I'm getting a count of the tags and then I'm going in and um, having to retrieve each record in the array first and then I'm getting all the tags for that array and then getting each of the tags and I'm doing that with a separate counter and then I'm doing basically the same thing for the friends array I'm continually retrieving the uh, parent record and then getting the individual record from the friends array if you look at the optimized version uh, you'll see uh, I'm basically uh, putting the each individual individual record into its own FileMaker variable this dollar record variable and then I'm just referencing dollar record um, from there on. So it's only having to retrieve uh, the JSON data once from the uh, sample data array. And then uh, my dollar record contains each record. And I'm just using that to pull down the individual fields um, and then the uh, tags and uh, as well as the friends. So just referencing dollar record continually. So the JSON get element uh, function is having to do a lot less work in terms of having to. Uh, trawl through the 486 records and uh, this is a, a fairly simple uh, bit of sample data but if you had a, a much more complicated one with invoices and invoice line items and invoice tax items and shipping items and refund items um, it makes an even bigger difference so uh, feel free to download this uh, sample file and check it out for yourself and uh, implement the technique where you can to save yourself some time. Thank you.